Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is a 2023 Logan Coach Stockman Combo. This is a 26 footer on the floor and we've got a neat tack setup on this one. Um, it's one of my favorite tack setups. I've got a couple, but this one, you know, you you can take quite a bit of tack with you. And so we'll get to that here in a minute, but we'll go ahead and start up front here. We've got our adjustable coupler. So this coupler moves up and down. That way we can make sure you're riding as level as possible on that tow vehicle. When you're not riding level and your axles, one stressing over the other, you know, that's just not a good combination because those axles need to work in, in unison together with the pickup in order to get your best ride and your best tow rating and everything. So being able to move that up and down just helps with keeping that as level as possible on that tow vehicle. We got our safety chains, our battery breakaway cable. So this cable, in case you didn't know, um, when you set this up correctly on the tow vehicle, if your trailer is to come dislodged from your truck, unhooked from it, and this is set up to where it pulls this little pin right here it's actually going to lock the brakes up on the trailer and that way if it does come disconnected from the truck it's not just going to be sitting there rolling until it hits something to stop the brakes will lock up when that pin is pulled and get it to a stop a lot quicker underneath here we've got our battery box because we do have an electric jack on this one so in that battery box you currently have one battery but there's enough room to fit a secondary one if you wanted to. And then the nice thing about it, it closes up and you can actually lock it too. So if you wanted to lock that up and make sure no one's messing with your batteries, stealing batteries, you can do so. And then right over here, we do have the battery cutoff switch. So a battery cutoff switch, when you are not using the trailer, we always recommend cut that to the off position and that's gonna cut all power to the trailer. So if you leave a tack room light on, an exterior light, somebody's walking by at a show, flips the light on, you're not gonna be draining your battery and killing your battery. And then right up here in the corner, we've got our control for that, that electric jack. So you get that key turned on, you can go up and down very easily. So I'll show you here. And I'm telling you, when you are sitting there cranking in the heat of day, and uh, instead of having an electric jack, it just, it just comes in handy having that electric jack and being able to get that trailer up and down with ease. And the nice thing, the cord, when you plug it into your truck and your truck is running and that battery cutoff switch is in the on position, it's going to trickle charge that battery. So we always recommend, especially if you're going on longer trips, you know, get that battery cutoff switch on, get it, make sure it's plugged into the truck, obviously. And then that way, as you're traveling, your battery is going to be charged back up. So coming over here, we've got our tack room. So we call this our trainer tack. The reason we call it our trainer tack, we got plenty of saddle rack spaces, we got plenty of blanket poles, all the bridle hooks you can want. I mean, plenty of space in this trailer just having this kind of setup. So each doors are going to open up. You're going to have your bridle hooks on the doors, and then down below, you're going to have your brush box. So on the bridle hooks, you do have carpet behind on these doors, and that way that's going to help keep your bridles in better condition, keep your doors in better condition too, because of that swishing and swaying bridles will do while in transit. And then you come up here to the left in the tack room, you've got some more bridle hooks. And then in that corner right there, we actually have a 25 gallon water tank. So you're able to bring some water from home. I know it comes in handy big time when you've got a horse that is finicky about water, doesn't like drinking water at new places. You wanna make sure they're staying hydrated so you can bring some water from home to mix in. You know, if you end up on the side of the road, you don't want to, but if you do, you, you can bring some water, have some water on board to offer your animals water until help comes, or there's multiple different reasons you would want to carry some water on board with you. So we've got eight saddle racks in this one. Nice thing about how this is set up down here is we can actually, if you wanted to, we could remove one of these blanket poles. We can add an additional saddle, four tier saddle rack. Um, there's just lots of different options and you can actually move these around to get them in different positions too if you wanted to move saddles to the middle, blankets to the outside and whatnot. On that right hand side you do have some more bridle hooks with the carpet down below. And then up on the ceiling there you actually have a little bar and so if you wanted to hang some stuff, your polo wraps, hang some show clothes, you could do so just using that bar up there. 
And then this trailer is gonna come with a jiffy jack. So that's that little block right there on the bottom. So if you have a flat or you gotta change a tire, you pull up on that same side where that tire is at, pull the good tire onto there and then it gets that other one off the ground and you're able to utilize it and change the tire. You also have two steps going into that tack room. So being able to have those steps, you got the steps going up and then you have the side um, running board that you can step up onto and then into the tack room too. It just comes in handy and makes life a lot easier when you can step up easily. You got an LED light up above that tack room and then in the tack room as well. And then another LED light back here by the tie area. So that way if you're saddling, unsaddling, tacking up, untacking, whatever you want to call it, at night in the dark, you are able to, you know, see a little bit better having lights. Who would have thought nighttime lights? Um, that seems to be a big one for me because I didn't have lights on a trailer for a while. So having lights be able to operate in the dark just comes in handy big time. So we got a pl our plexiglass slats. So these actually, if you take off this back piece right here, you're gonna unbolt it and then these will slide out. So there's um, two on the lower, two on the upper. You can take those out, kind of maneuver that air however you want it and get that airflow to where you need it at. You got a few ties down below. And then underneath this one, we're sitting on two 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. And those are the black with a little bit of silver accent wheels, which I really like the look of, um, mainly because I have something similar on my truck, so it would go very well together just having that black. Um, it just looks nice. So Logan Coach trailers are a galvanized steel frame, aluminum sheeting combo. So a nice thing about them, you got that strength and durability of having that galvanized steel, but then you're getting that lighter weight of having the aluminum sheeting. They come with an eight year structural warranty to your hitch to bumper. So fantastic warranties on them as well. So this trailer, we've got our 50-50 back doors. Currently we have no ramp on here, but if you wanted to add a ramp, we can easily do so in our service department. Our guys here do a fantastic job on making stuff look like it came from the manufacturer that way. Stepping up here right away, you'll notice the floor difference. So this is their upgraded floor. So it's kind of like a polylast flooring. It's called, Logan calls it Sure Grip. So it's got a little bit of grip to it. It's a rubber composite. And then what's gonna be underneath it is you're gonna have aluminum planks running lengthwise with gaps in between. And those gaps in between, any kind of liquid is gonna drain through the floor and down to the bottom. So it's nice when you have a horse that likes to urinate. When you're traveling and someone's riding too close, they're gonna get <laughs> face full of, uh, of horse pee. But, um, so nice floor, you're able to, to scoop out your solids, spray it down with the hose, you're good to go afterward. Uh, if you do get that little bit of musty smell, we recommend simple grain, just spray it on, let it sit for a little bit, and then you can spray it out too. So up here in the back, we've got our one center gate. So this, I don't know if you can see this right here, it does latch to the side. So if you wanted to haul with this open, you can do so. Or if you wanna get it closed up, all you gotta do is pull this back, and then this divider closes over. So plenty of space to fit two horses up front. You can have three or four back here, just depending on how big they are. Um, this is a pretty big trailer, being able to haul quite a few horses with you. You got a tie rail on each side, so depending on where you want to tie, you can get them you know, either side. You can head to tail them if you wanted to. And then up on that right hand side, we've got a few lights so you can load and unload in the dark a little bit easier too. As you can see in this one, you can probably see it in the video, uh, we do have some hail damage on this. We got hit with a hail storm not too long ago, so we are having a hail sale. So if you're interested in any trailers, give us a call and let us know what you're looking for. And we can let you know if we can get you a good discount on a hail damaged unit. You know, the nice thing about buying a hail unit, you never know when it's going to hail. And you could buy a brand new one, two days later it hails and then you got a hail damaged unit. Whereas Right now, because of the hail sale that we're having, you could have a discounted trailer, has a little bit of hail on it, and then you don't have to worry about it potentially happening in the future. So a nice thing uh, I like about stock combos too is just the versatility. 
So if you wanted to load a couple horses in the front there and then load a four-wheeler or side-by-side -side in the back, you could easily do so. You know, you want to head up to the mountains for the day. Somebody likes the horsepower of actual horses. Somebody else likes the horsepower of toys. They can do so easily with having this combo and being able to utilize it that way. So coming over here to the driver's side or head side of the trailer, we've got five more ties, another exterior light up above. And then same for this one with the plexiglass, you take that back plate off and you're able to slide those right out. Um, highly recommend if you do take plexiglass out, make sure you know where you took them out from. So if it were me, I'd take that top rail out first, just tape it together and put driver's side top. And then same with the bottom and then the other side of the trailer. And that way when you're putting them back in, you know exactly where they go and you're not gonna be having issues trying to play a Tetris game of where does this plexiglass go. So then on this one, we do have an escape door. So this escape door opens up and gives you access into this first stall. So being able to access this from the exterior, if you're only hauling, you know, three, four horses with you and you wanted to use this as a hay storage compartment, you could easily do so with having this exterior access. And then, you know, if you want to haul anything with you, you've just got that capability of of accessing it from the outside, or if you need to use it as an actual escape door while loading animals, you could obviously do so as well. So then over here, we've got our, our door to our uh, dressing room, sorry. On this door, you do have the brush box, so you can add some more stuff in here, get some more stuff if you need to into that brush box. We've got a step going up into that area here. So then I'll let Jody step up in there because it's not a super big area. So up above you have the access to the gooseneck. So extra storage space, you know, you can utilize that with a lot of uh, different uses. You got a light up there in that gooseneck so you're able to see if you do have stuff stored up there. And then coming down here, in order to get up into that gooseneck, you do have a boot box built in. So super deep boot box, it's nice and big be able to keep your boots out of the off the floor out of the way um, I personally I put like my bigger gallon of fly spray and liniment in there and then that way it's not rolling around and potential for spilling as easily and then over here on the right hand side you do have a shelf so you can get that shelf you do have a little lip on it and that way stuff that you put in there is hopefully not going to be flying off and out of there and then up on the ceiling there we do have a clothes bar and then that way you can get your show clothes hung up, you can get them up out of the way, and just utilize the space as best as you can. So then this trailer, we are gonna be sitting at seven feet tall. We're sitting at seven feet, three inches wide. And then like I said earlier, we have an on the floor length of 26 feet. Empty weight on it is gonna be 7,640 pounds. So always, always, always double check your tow rating and make sure that your vehicle is capable of towing the weight that you wanna tow. Um, you know, three quarter tons, one tons are gonna easily have the weight rating for the most part to tow this. Just We just always say double check your tow rating. So stock number we've got on this one is gonna be 5N221873. And that's 5N221873, it's a 2023 Logan Coach Stockman Combo, 26 footer with the trainer tack. This one's a tan exterior color on it. Uh, if you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our website or you're driving by and see something on our lot you have questions on, please don't hesitate to reach out. Don't forget we're having that hail sale right now. So if you want a good discount on a trailer, just give us a call and we can talk to you about what you're looking for and stuff. You can call me at my desk phone that's down below. That's 303. 684-3451. You can shoot me an email to Morgan, that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noll, K-N-O-L-L -L, at transwest.com. Or shoot me a text or give me a call to my cell phone, 970-218-5996. Again, that's 970-218-5996. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.